Aren't those beetles so cute? So cute. So red. That's it, prick up your ears. They've come out into the sun for warmth, I think. I think they're cute. How close can we get? Actually, it's a piece of tyre to cover the water meter. But look, that's where they are. Zillions of them nesting. I wouldn't normally uncover something, but I thought they might be there and I thought it would be nice to film them. Aren't they gorgeous? I'll put the cover back carefully in a minute. Aren't they gorgeous? Little red beetles. Look at them surviving so well. Very cold weather. I knew they were there because some were coming out on top of the tyre to keep warm in the sunshine. I made a film about these beetles a few years ago. I can't remember what they're called. I'll have to look it up. Aren't they lovely? So red. They get bigger, don't they? And then they turn into that sort of beetle there. Can I see that one? No, I can't, but they do get bigger. I wouldn't call them a hive, but they're very social, aren't they? They know how to come apart. They know how to break, disperse a crowd, and they know how to create a crowd to assemble. I've seen them eating dropped fruits before. I'm not sure what else I've seen them eating. Let's have a close-up handheld view. There we are up close. That's them. This is they. Beautiful little bugs. I hope a redback doesn't bite me. Redbacks usually hide under the tire as well. Look at the little ones, like tiny jewels. They'd make nice jewellery if you could make a bracelet. If they were done in polished stone, you could make a bracelet out of them or a necklace. So many of them. At least they're getting a bit of sunshine now. Let to warm them up. Listen to the lawn mowers on a Sunday. A lot of activity. Am I holding the camera steady enough? Certainly lots of them. OK, 
council man a long time ago told me to put a piece of tyre over that water meter so that it wouldn't get damaged by frost. Assembling. They know how to assemble, don't they? They're all packing themselves in pretty tightly now, aren't they, in the sunshine? I'll put it back now. I'll put the cover back. That's what they grow into, that type of bug. Are they called harlequin bugs or something? I'm not sure. They look a bit cockroach in a way. Very beautiful. Let's put it back carefully now. There you go. No harm done, I hope. Look, look what else I've espied. There's a ripe Kalahari horned melon there. A Ruria Gurki, I think they're called in South Africa. Isn't it lovely? Just about ripe enough to eat. We'll eat that with ice cream, plain vanilla ice cream. Very beautiful. Look at me. Just about time to pick them and have them with ice cream. Gotta wait for them to turn bright orange. And look at this bougainvillea in the nursery. Isn't it so flamingly beautiful? I've got to get more of them. I want lots and lots more of all different colours around the house. I rather like the purple, bluish, purplish, bluish ones. That's not blue enough for me, but it's lovely nevertheless. Yes, yes, I'll be happy for bougainvillea to climb over the entire house. I want the whole house, oh do be quiet motorbike, I want the whole house covered in bougainvillea. It's so bright. So brilliant and flaming. So lovely. I don't know that this camera does it justice. It's so purple. Well, it's crimson. Now what is that? A cyclamen? What colour would you call it? So lovely. I need more. I want lots and lots of them to climb all over the house. These red dragon fruit in the nursery are doing so well, but I've got to bring them in from the frost soon. They're the type from Costa Rica that have red flesh. Much more flavoursome than the ones with white flesh. I've got about, how many of them? I don't know, close to a dozen. Where am I going to put them? Here in the nursery, they're growing so big. They haven't bloomed yet. Can't wait for them to bloom. Now I've got a duck quacking in the background. My neighbour's duck, I think, quacking. Uh, yeah, that's a beautiful dragon fruit from Costa Rica. It's going so well. See you then.